Have you been thinking about starting a photo booth business but have no idea where to start? Well, no worries, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite photo booth company and which photo booth package I recommend in starting your photo booth business. My name is Nicole and I started my photo booth business in early 2022. I am a solo parent running a photo booth business full time while providing educational resources here on YouTube and my website ownyourmoment.co. I am absolutely passionate about helping others find success in this business, and I hope that I can lend you a helping hand too. With that said, let's jump into today's topic. I am talking, of course, about Photo Booth Supply Co. Salsa and Guac Photo Booths. The Salsa Photo Booth is the one that I use to start and grow my business, but before I share about my personal experience, I wanna do a quick review of the packages that they offer. We are gonna start off with the Salsa Photo Booth, which is the iPad-based photo booth. One big thing to note about all three of these packages is that they do not come with an iPad, and that's for a very good reason. If you're an Apple product user or purchaser, you know that the technology can change drastically and improve year after year after year. The camera gets better, it's faster, and just all around better. So that's one reason for sure. Another reason is because there's so many of us that use iPads just regularly or may have one on hand. This then allows you to save over $1,000 and use the one you have already. I have another video that I share below talking about which model and version of the iPad is the best one to purchase. So click that link below to view that video and get more information on the iPad. But let's get back to the Salsa booth itself and chat about the different packages that Photo Booth Supply Co. offers for the iPad-based photo booths. If you're looking at the different packages and trying to decide which one is the best one for you, I have some things for you to consider. You should go with the starter package if you are wanting to purchase the software the entire year and save some money separately, $198 to be exact. Definitely worth it in the long run to pay for the year up front and save that extra 200 bucks. Another good reason to go with the starter pack is if maybe you wanna purchase a different backdrop and backdrop stand other than the one provided by Photo Booth Supply Co. The one that I really recommend is from PB Backdrops. They are priced much cheaper, but they have a great quality product and have a lot more variety in the backdrops that they offer. And if you want a video about backdrops specifically for photo booths, I have a video about that too. So I'll link that below. Salsa Care is another reason, another thing that you would have to add if you're buying the starter pack. Salsa Care is $2.99 and it offers you an additional year of warranty. Highly recommend that you take advantage of that. Uh, it's included in some of the other packages, but you would have to buy it separately if you're going with the starter package. It's just worth that peace of mind to have that extra warranty. And should like the worst case scenario happen, you're able to transfer that warranty uh, to another owner if you decide to sell the booth. So you really can't lose there. All in all, I would say the starter package is great if you're able to like piece together your ideal setup and scenario. If you're wanting to do a complete purchase all in one, let's chat about the essential package. The essential package is great if you wanna make one purchase and have the complete setup. This package includes one double-sided backdrop and frame, Salsa Care, and the Salsa software for one year. If you can only make one purchase, say for financing reasons or something like that, then this is the great option to go with. It includes additional marketing materials like the videos. I use the marketing video in my website. So if that is really valuable to you, then this would be a good option to take advantage of. All right, then the last package is the growth package. This package includes two of everything, so it allows you to really get a jump start on starting your business. So all of that to say, in my experience, most beginners are getting in at the starter or essentials level. Uh, some of the things that are included as well are additional marketing materials, like I said, and a sample contract. I will say that the contract is really bare bones and may not provide the coverage that you need to successfully operate your business. 
So please make sure you understand that. What you could do is take that sample contract and have your lawyer revise it. That could really cost you anywhere from $500 plus, depending on your lawyer's fees. An alternative option is the contract made available for one moment, please. It's the podcast that I'm part of. I'll have that linked below in the description for you as well so that you can get more details on that. We offer two versions of the contract. We had our lawyers draft it, revise it, edit it for us, and it's really given us a lot of peace of mind. So more information on that in the description. And uh, that is the breakdown of my recommendations for which Salsa photo booth packages to start with. I personally went with the essentials plan when I started. If you know my story, you know that I needed to start my business fast and I can only make one purchase and this was my chance. So that is what I went with. I had one photo booth for the entire first year of my business and I did over 52 events in that first year with one photo booth. And then as of today, I have three salsa photo booths and I've been in the business for almost one and a half years. So what really stood out to me in my experience with this company is their absolute passion for helping the entrepreneur. I had the chance to talk to the CEO of the company, Brandon, and really get his insight on the beginnings of the of his company and why he started it. And what I left the conversation with was how he absolutely had a huge vision and love for helping entrepreneurs succeed. And truly that's evidenced by all of the support that they provide and training materials and marketing resources and really all of it. It really stood out to me that they were going to support the entrepreneur in the business as much as possible. They as a company are absolutely passionate about that and about investing in the entrepreneur and helping them succeed. I do wanna emphasize here, I am not sponsored by them. This video is not sponsored by them. They have no idea I'm making this. This has truly been my experience with them. I am very, very grateful that I found them. And honestly, if you ask, really anyone that has had a photo booth from Photo Booth Supply Co, they'll probably tell you the same thing, that their support is unparalleled and they truly are huge advocates for their owners. And I mean, that I think just speaks volume about the company itself. So I've never regretted my purchase. Um, sure, I've had ups and downs, there's things that have broken, but that's just kind of what comes with owning a piece of equipment, owning technology, Working with technology, there's gonna be ebbs and flows, but my overall experience in getting things fixed and talking to customer service and, and, and troubleshooting, they have gone above and beyond to um, support me as an owner. And so I'm just eternally grateful. I think if there's anything that I would say, if you're looking into the business, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be an investment. Any business that you have is gonna be an investment but make sure that the company that you're buying from is going to be there to support you afterwards. Unless you're super tech savvy and you know how to build stuff on your own, you know how to work with equipment and technology and you're able to create, like those are not the majority, right? Like if you're that way, then fantastic. Like you can probably figure out a way to build your own photo booth or whatever. If you're like me and getting into this with literally no experience, and never have been an entrepreneur, never been an owner. Having the support has been such a lifesaver, honestly. Like I, I can go into my events confidently knowing that if anything should happen, A, I have a whole community that I can go to to ask questions, but B, their support is going to be there and they're gonna help one way or another. All right, so I've covered the Salsa photo booth. Now we'll take a really quick peek at the Guac photo booth, which is their newest DSLR photo booth. The starter package begins at $7,999, $8,000, and includes the booth, the camera, and the printer. It's called the Guac and Chips. Uh, it follows the same package as Salsa in that the $7,999 $7, package is bare bones and doesn't include Salsa Care or the Salsa software, but you can find that in the Essentials package, which is $9,799. Then there is the Fiesta package, which is the DSLR guac booth and the salsa booth, which is pretty cool. If you're looking to provide digital and print services right away, this package might be a really great one to start with if you have the means to. This package is priced at $13,999. One unique thing about this package is that it also comes with a green screen backdrop. So 
super cool if that's something that you are wanting to get into. Um, this might be a really valuable package for you. Okay, so the biggest personal question I get is why I went with the iPad booth over the DSLR booth. And for me, that answer is very, very simple and it's money, finances, money. When I started, I literally had no money and had to put this on a credit card. So the answer was very, very simple for me. I was going to start with the salsa and build my business. And that is exactly what I did. I'm very happy to say that not only did I pay off that booth and that credit card, but I've paid off an additional $5,000 of debt and cash flowed additional purchases for my photo booth business completely debt free. So definitely not a decision that I regretted in the least. I mean, I started with the salsa and I now have three and it's, it's just been the best thing. So first reason of why I went with the salsa booth first was money financial reasons. And the second reason I still use the salsa and added more to my business is because they are so easy to use and train others to use. I now have a team of five that work with me and it has been a breeze to train them how to use it. Not only that, I've been able to comfortably offer drop off or self service photo booths with the salsa and I know I won't encounter any issues. If you want more info on drop off booths and, and all of that, I actually have a really great podcast episode that I'll link below so you can hear more about my experience with drop off photo booths. But another question I get is about quality. People ask me all the time about the quality of the iPad versus the DSLR booth. And before I read in the comments, I'll just go ahead and say it. A professional camera is going to take better photos. Yes. Absolutely, no question. A DSLR booth will take better photos. It's a better camera, and I don't think anyone is going to argue with that, but it also doesn't mean that an iPad booth's quality has to suck, because it doesn't. You can invest time, effort, energy into perfecting the exposure settings, additional lighting, and maximizing the quality out of the salsa, and still produce really beautiful photos. Not only that, but I really, really wanna emphasize this, there are very, very few clients who are going to care greatly about the quality. What they will care about is the experience. If you create a top-notch experience with excellent customer service from beginning to end, that is what will matter. That is what your client wants to have at their event. At the end of the day, we're creating an atmosphere of fun and capturing the memories for the client. That is what matters. What you also have to understand is that for many, many people, their experience with the photo booth was possibly with the ones at the mall or at a theme park or at the museum or whatever. And if you've done any one of those recently, that quality is not great. I have a fridge full of photo strips from photo booths that I found in different places and my salsa gets better quality than those. But unless your client is a photographer or is expecting a photography studio experience, and definitely there are those, don't get me wrong, but odds are they're going to be perfectly okay with the iPad photo booth quality. So just set correct expectations and then surprise them with the quality and experience. I would never consider taking a DSLR photo and then advertising that for my iPad photo booth because that's just not an accurate representation. But more than anything, even in my marketing, I highlight the experience above all. And that is absolutely what I recommend that you guys do too. I hope this has been helpful in explaining what Photo Booth Supply Co. has to offer and hopefully you can make an informed decision in your journey to purchasing a photo booth. In the description, you'll find a direct link to the photo booth products I mentioned today. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or join the Facebook group and share it there. We'll see you there.